So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here. Today again a little bit of microbe hunting because I'll be putting some spoiled milk under the microscope and I want to show you some of the bacteria that I found there. As a matter of fact, spoiled milk contains many bacteria because these bacteria, either they were already present in the milk or they fell into the milk from the air, they started to reproduce and uh, they produce lactic acid and other waste products that uh, turn the milk bad and also sour. Well, uh, the milk uh, already started to turn a little bit solid. It's around, I don't know, maybe three or four days old. I left it at room temperature and I took a small sample of it uh, to put on a microscope slide and then under the microscope I saw many, many of these round moving Moving globules. See the, these are fat globules, oil droplets, microscopic oil droplets, and, and they move randomly because of so-called Brownian motion. This is because the movement of temperature that they have. It's completely random the movement, uh, and uh, if you look very carefully, then you're also able to see some strange structures between those fat globules. And as a matter of fact, those long structures that you see here, these are bacteria. These are rod-shaped bacteria, and uh, these bacteria started to reproduce inside the milk and they produced waste products to turn the milk bad. And uh, yeah, I kind of uh, ob observed them a little bit. I could see that some of them are in small clusters, micro colonies. And some of them are alone in single and, and others are in pairs or even in uh, short chains. Yeah, so they kind of reproduce exponentially right now. And after a few more days, uh, then uh, yeah, they're going to be full. <laughs> the whole milk is going to be full of these, uh, these bacteria. In any case, I wanted to make those bacteria a little bit more visible. They are transparent, therefore difficult to see under normal circumstances. But by adding a little bit of methylene blue, this is a stain, um, you should be able to make them much better visible. And this is what I've done. I added a small amount of methylene blue um, to the milk and um, I could immediately see that the cells, the bacterial cells, started to absorb the methylene blue quite well and they quickly turned blue, dark blue as a matter of fact, and then yeah, the high contrast uh, allowed me to see them much better and to distinguish them much better from, from the remaining fat globules that are present. Um, and uh, you might also notice that the bacteria kind of stay put a little bit where they are while the oil globules are kind of flushed away um, by the stream. I think the bacteria kind of yeah, clung tighter to the glass microscope slide and cover glass. Yeah, so this is basically something uh, that we want to avoid. Uh, for this reason, it's always a good idea to keep the milk in the refrigerator and to make sure that they do not, uh, that the milk does not uh, warm up to room temperature, because as soon as it becomes warmer, the bacteria will start to multiply exponentially and uh, increase in number. And I also recommend that uh, maybe you should not open the milk bottle unless really necessary, because every time when you open it, you're introducing air, and the air is not the problem, but it's the bacteria that can be found in the air that will actually fall into the milk container and start uh, to multiply there as well. Well, yeah, who would have guessed that uh, milk is uh, quite uh, that interesting? At least I think it's interesting. Um, and uh, maybe uh, the next time when I put some spoiled milk uh, under the microscope, maybe I'm able to find different bacteria as well. Because uh, the type of bacteria that starts to grow is also a little bit of um, an element of chance is also involved because it depends really which type of bacteria will enter the milk. But for today, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.